Hey guys, I hope y'all are doing well today. So we're going to be checking out some new Rare Beauty eye makeup. So we're going to be looking at the Rare Beauty Discovery eyeshadow palette, as well as the Always an Optimist eye primer. So I'm going to show y'all the shades in this palette that I use to do my eye makeup today and just tell y'all what I think about it. But when we do the eye primer, I'm actually going to be testing this side by side against another eye primer so that we can just compare the two. And I'll explain why when we get to that part of the video. So before we get started, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Sonia Nicole and I post new videos here every week and I also do some stuff for makeup lovers who are 40 and over. So please consider subscribing while you're here today. I would really appreciate your support and I would love to have you join me on this channel. Okay y'all, let's jump right into it. Okay, so let's get started with the Discovery eyeshadow palette. So this is what the packaging looks like here. I think it's really cute and simple, and I also like the shape of this too. And they just have the names of the shades on the back. And then this is what the inside of it looks like. I did already swatch a couple of these shades when I first got it because I just couldn't help myself. But this is like a really nice neutral tone palette, but it has like a whole lot of versatility in it. I think you could do like a whole lot with this. So I am going to do some hand swatches for those of you who would be interested but let me know in the comments how you feel about hand swatches of eyeshadows I don't really find that they're helpful I just want to see what they look like on the eyes but let me know your thoughts on that but for those of you who would like to see swatches I'm gonna do a swatch of all of these colors okay so here are all of the hand swatches I think they all swatch pretty well I think some may have swatched a little bit better than others this one here was a little bit difficult to build up so that's the second to the last one but I think other than that they all swatch pretty well so here are the hand swatches for those of you who would find that helpful okay so let's talk about the eyeshadow primer for a little bit and then we will do a look with the palette so I actually was not going to get this primer this is their always an optimist primer this is what the packaging looks like it looks just like their lip balms and their liquid eyeshadows I actually was not going to get this because at first I was thinking it's just another eye primer I already have a couple that I really like but I wanted to try this out because I'm curious to see if it's actually going to work this is a hydrating primer and I don't know how I feel about that because you definitely don't want your primers to feel like drying on your skin but I don't know if a hydrating primer is going to work for especially for me having oily eyelids I don't see how a hydrating primer will work to help to keep your lids to keep your eyeshadow from creasing during the day so I am going to start with this to see how I like it and if I feel the need to I might compare it with another eye primer on the other eye just to see if we can see any difference in terms of like the vibrancy of the eyeshadows and the creasing and all of that so let's start off with this primer oh it actually has more color to it than I thought it was going to so I'm actually going to wipe off some of the excess from the applicator here and I'm just going to start oh yeah it has more color to it than I thought okay so I'm gonna start off with that amount there and just from putting that on it does feel very liquidy like it feels really wet whereas the the primer that I usually use which is the MAC paint pot I mean again it doesn't feel drying on my eye but it definitely doesn't feel as wet as this one I'm gonna put a little bit more up here I like the color of it because it is like blanding my eyelid out but I'm not sure about the consistency of it it doesn't feel like super liquidy on my lid but it just doesn't feel like I don't feel any tackiness on my lid and I like to feel tackiness with my eye primer okay so let's move on to applying the eyeshadow and I think I'm gonna use uh, this shade here this looks like it's a duochrome shade based on the swatch I think I'm gonna use this for my main lid color for today so I'm just using like a really dense brush just to pack this on yeah this is definitely like a duochrome shade it reminds me of one of those um the duochrome shade from the pat mcgrath palette like the pink and green one this one is more like a i don't know like a red and orange shade not red more of like a rosy color slash orange shade like if you think of the shades that you would use to create like a like a sunset eyeshadow look these are the colors that are in here definitely orange yeah it's like turning like pink to orange 
So anyway, I'm just packing this on most of my lid. And it is going on really nicely. I do think it is really pigmented, but I do think I am going to go on the other eye and use my MAC paint pot for a primer to see if I get like any more vibrance on that other on that other eye. So I'm just going to use my same brush. I just took off some of that shadow and I'm going to go in with this brown shade here. I'm going to use that for the outer part of the lid and also on my lower lash line. Yeah, and this one is applying nicely too. I like the level of pigment that I'm getting. And I'm just switching brushes so I can put some of this on the lower lash line. I'm just doing like the outer corner of the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take this purple. This is like a purpley, like mauve type color. This is my favorite one in the palette because I really like cool tone colors. I think I'm gonna take this one to kind of buff around the whole look and just kind of like diffuse everything out. So I'm just gonna blend like around that brown shade first. And this one, I can see a difference, but I do think the color of it is just kind of blending right in with that brown. Like maybe because like I'm really close up in the mirror, I can see a difference, but I feel like on camera, it kind of looks all like one color. I'm going back into the first shade that I used on my lid and I'm gonna apply it with my finger this time. And I'm just wondering if that will give me any more pigment. So I think y'all can really see like the duochrome on my finger here if you can't make it out on my eyes, which I think you can, but this is like a really nice close up of it. It's like a rosy slash like orange, orange, almost like a yellow gold shade. I don't think that made too much of a difference in terms of like the pigment. I, the level of pigment was fine before I went in with my finger. It wasn't horrible or anything, but I was just wondering if that was gonna make like a big difference using my finger, but I don't think it made too much of a difference. Okay, so I'm gonna move to the other eye before I finish this one because I wanna put my concealer on before I do my inner corner, but this is what we're looking like so far and it's okay. I do think that all of the eyeshadows that I use so far are blending out just fine. I do kinda wish that I could see this purple shade. I wish it was a bit more prominent on my lid. It's a very muted shade, so it's not really meant to be like, you know, as vibrant as one of the metallic shades, but I do think it kinda blended right into that brown and it could be that I just picked up a little bit of the brown when I was blending it out but I do kind of wish that I could see a little bit more of that purple. I can see it but it's just not quite as prominent as I would have hoped but I do think everything is blending out really nicely so far so I'm going to move on to the other eye but I do think I'm going to use a different primer so that I can compare um, the Rare Beauty primer up against something else that I really am familiar with so I'm going to go in with my MAC paint pot. This one is in the shade Painterly and as a matter of fact before I put this on let me do a hand swatch of the Rare Beauty Eye Primer so that you guys can see hopefully you guys can see the difference in consistencies between these two primers. So this one is the MAC one that I'm picking up. Now granted, I had to apply them differently because I applied this with the brush, but I'm hoping y'all can see that the Rare Beauty one is just a lot more liquidy looking. Like it, it looks like it's gonna be more hydrating compared to this one. And the MAC one, it's not drying, but I know that this probably won't translate on camera, but the MAC one is definitely a lot more tacky and it's a lot more sticky than the Rare Beauty one. This one just feels like it's not really setting down as much. I mean, so far on this eye, nothing is moving around, nothing is creasing so far, but I just feel like I'm definitely gonna prefer a consistency like the MAC one because it's just more tacky. It's just gonna help the eyeshadow like stick a little bit better. All right, I'm just gonna use the other side of the brush that I used for the first eye for the primer. And I'm just gonna pat the majority of this on my lid and then put like the residual a little further up 
And I do like the shade of the Rare Beauty Primer, but I do think I like this one a little bit better. It's a little bit more pigmented, but it's not like overly pigmented to the point where your eyeshadow won't like hide the primer underneath. So I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did on this eye so that we can get like a side-by-side -side comparison. So I'm gonna start off with that duochrome shade and put that on most of the lid. So let me know what y'all think, but I already feel like this one is giving me more pigment because of the MAC primer. It does look a little bit more vibrant to me on this eye over here. I feel like this looks like what it looked like over here when I put that duochrome shade on with my finger, but I'm using a brush. And then I'm going in with this shade here, the brown one, and I'm gonna put that on the outer part of the lid. I feel like the same with this brown shade. It looks just a little darker to me on this eye than it did over here. I just feel like the primer is helping the eyeshadows to pop. The matte primer is helping the eyeshadows to pop more over here. And then I'm picking up this purple shade to buff everything out. So again, I'm just going to blend around the brown shade. Now this could be that I am being a little more careful because I really wanted to see more of this purple shade, but even with blending this out, I do feel like I see more of this purple shade. It's not blending in into that brown as much as it did over here, but I'm not gonna say that that's the primer. I mean, that could just be, I don't know. I, the primer might have something to do with it, but I mean, it could be that I'm like, subconsciously just blending a little more careful over here so that I don't pick up any of that brown shade. And just to keep everything consistent, I'm gonna go back into this duochrome shade and I'm gonna go over it with my finger since I did the same thing on the other side. And then let me just blend right in here one more time. Okay, let me know what y'all think. Do you see a difference between the two primers? I do feel like I like this one better. This one doesn't look bad at all and it's still not creasing or anything. So I, I think this one is fine, but I do think I like the, the formula of the MAC one better. I don't think that this is an eye primer that I would reach for on a regular basis, but I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup off camera and then we're gonna come back and then I'm just gonna add some inner corner highlight and then I will give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, I finished up the rest of my makeup except for lipstick. So the last thing that I'm gonna do for my eyes is I think I'm gonna take this shade here and use that as my inner corner and also put a little bit of it on my brow bone. And then I always like to bring this shade just up into whatever shade I have on my lid just to kind of, you know, help them blend in together. I'm trying to remember. Oh, okay. So this one, this one is also kind of like a, it's like a shifting shade. Because you see how it looks really pink in the lid? I was expecting that pink, I mean pink in the pan. I was expecting that pink on my lid. But it's coming out more of like a, like a gold tone shade. So I actually don't like that on my inner corner because I was expecting just a different color. I'm gonna leave it like this though because there really isn't any other shade in here that I would wanna use for the inner corner, like nothing else bright enough. So I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm just gonna throw on some lipstick and then I will come back with my final thoughts. Okay y'all, I will have everything that I'm wearing listed in my description box just in case you're interested, but to give y'all my final thoughts on on these two products. I don't think that I'm going to be using this eyeshadow primer again. I did nothing about it really wowed me and I just don't think it's a necessary product for me. If you already have a primer that you really like, something that you use all the time, this is just not necessary. It's just not something that I'm going to reach for again. I do like the way that my eyeshadow looks better on the eye where I use the MAC Paint Pot for a primer. I think that my eyeshadows are a bit more true to color over 
here and I just like the consistency of the MAC primer better it just has more of a tacky feel to it this one is just a little too wet for my liking my eyeshadow is increasing over here um, it's wearing just fine but I just feel like I'm not gonna pick this up over my um, my MAC paint pot and then for the eyeshadow palette I do like this I think it's a little overpriced though like I feel like it could be just a couple dollars cheaper but that's not a big deal but in terms of how the eyeshadows performed I thought that they were just fine like this is something that I would pick up and use again this glittery shade right here and then this gold shade up here I probably wouldn't ever use those those are just not colors that I gravitate to and I don't really care for glitter on my eyes but the shadows that I used today I thought that they were just fine I do really like this duochrome shade um, even though I didn't even realize it was duochrome until I swatched it but I do really like that color and um, this shade here kind of threw me for a loop this one just because I thought that it was going to be more of like a champagne -y shade on my lid I just wish it was a little bit brighter but I do think that this would be a good like kind of like an everyday palette for people who like to just throw something on their lids really quickly but you also want to be able to have options to put like a little bit of color in your look for like an everyday look I think that this would be a good palette for that so I would recommend this especially if you like Rare Beauty the brand I would recommend this although I do think it can be like a couple dollars cheaper but I would not recommend the eye primer so those are my final thoughts let me know what y'all think in the comments thank you so much for watching today I really hope that y'all enjoyed the video if you did please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and I will see y'all back here for my next one until then take care have a good one y'all bye